Hi guys, Rob from Royal Balls. We're down here at ARP Constrictors with Owen again. Um, about halfway through the hatchling season, um, about 30 clutches have hatched and about 30 clutches still in the incubator. So we're going to have a look at some baby snakes. You don't want to hear us any longer, so let's get after it. Yep. We'll go with clutch number 15 now. So this was a double head project, a bino pipe project. So we'll show you the three leopards first. These are all possible double head for albino pipe so we got two males uh, two, one male and two females I'm keeping the two females so what we were aiming for was a leopard albino pipe but unfortunately we did not get one we got a leopard albino and a leopard pipe I would have liked that two to be in the same snake but that didn't happen but it's okay we can try again next season so as you can see the coloration on the albino is totally different compared to the standard albino once you put a leopard in the whites are really white and the yellow part is very olive kind of yellow mm. nice, nice head stamp too very nice head stamp yep. i'm quite happy with it i would have liked it to be to for these two morphs to be in the same snake but it's okay we can you just hold both of those up for the, the camera just hold them mm. a little bit closer awesome yes Very nice. I'll just put the pipe back first. This is a girl. She's very nice. Very pretty. Beautiful. Yeah. So we'll move on with the next clutch because we've got quite a number of stuff to show today. Okay, so now we will look at our lavender clutch. So oh yes. So we will start with this. This was a... 4 egg clutch, a very small clutch. Okay, so the pairing was a firefly lavender albino to a pastel head for lavender albino. So we got one pastel, which is a 100% head for lavender albino. So we remove that first. And these three are lavender albinos. So there's one of them is a super pastel lavender albino. And there is one firefly lavender albino and one pastel lavender albino. Can you show us the, the head stamps on those? I see the white head on this one closest to us. This two has the white head. All three of them has white head, sorry. The other clutch, that's the other clutch that doesn't have the white head. All these three has the white head. Very nice, very nice colour. As you know, lavenders get nicer with age. So they should like look better in a year or two. So, should we move on to the next clutch? Yep, let's move on. Okay. Those are really nice. But I know you've got some nicer ones. Yes. I need, I need to hide my stuff better. Okay, so this is a bigger clutch. So we, we will just break it down a few at a time. So we'll just go with the fires and the normal hats first. So this was a 9-8 clutch. So there's three, four fires and one normal. Head for all 100% head for lavenders. So you can see the fires are very clean, very nice, very pretty. So we started with very clean fires when we started working on this project. Yeah, very bright dorsal stripe on that yeah. one. Even this, each of them look a bit different and each of them are nice in their own way actually. So that's I like... Range. This one? Yeah, this looks very unique actually. So, but those are just the hats, so should we move on? Sure. Let me just show the, well, the Firefly hat for lavender together with them. So this is a Firefly, 100% hat for lavender also. Yep, a little bit brighter. Yep. Lighter head. Usually the head lavenders look nicer. There's, there's a little bit of influence of that the lavender hats going on there. Yep. Okay. So next stuff are the visual ones from this clutch. These are basically the best looking lavenders I've produced so far. They are very nice. 
So as you can see, they all have different head stamps. That's because they're all different combos. Yep, two with an orange head stamp. Yes, one, one with, with a white. white. Similar just, to the one just now. Can you just hold the, the orange head stamp up for the camera? It's moving around. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. This one has the white heads then. These are nice, these are very nice. They are very nice, yes. So we should move on to the next clutch. Yes, still lots to get through. Yep. So this is actually a very simple clutch. This was uh, normal to a killer bee. I would like to show our bumblebees a bit. So our bumblebees are nicer than uh, what the normal ones look like. As you can see, they're much reduced pattern. They are slightly cleaner. Very white. They're very white. These are actually quite yellow. The other clutch that we shot, um, I think the, the first or second video, those were much whiter. Those those the calico combo ones. Yes. Even without the calico, the bumblebees were very white made it very difficult to identify which had calico which didn't so as you can see the patterns are very reduced and uh, the colors are cleaner but it's still a very common combo so i just wanted to highlight that the rest of the clutch hasn't actually the rest of the clutch mate hasn't shed actually so we'll move on yeah Okay, so this 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 clutch actually has gone into shed, but I still wanted to show because uh, I think they're cool. Slightly in shed, they're not very deep in shed. This was a GHI Pastel Mojave to a Pastel female. So see, that's a GHI Pastel Mojave, same as the father, and um, that's a Super Pastel. Mojave That's also another super best of Mojave Okay, so actually there's, there's a lot of hatchlings in this clutch we just show everything quickly You're so saving the best for last there? Yes So it's a pastel and a normal And there's another pastel And this is a Pastel GHI. So there's a Pastel Mojave GHI and there's a Pastel GHI. The rest did not have the GHI. What we lost one baby in this clutch. The other one was also another Pastel Mojave GHI. So we'll remove some of these and show you the only the GHIs. Okay, this is my favorite from the clutch. So Pastel GHI, Pastel Mojave GHI, Super Pastel Mojave GHI. Oh boy. Let me bring it up a bit nearer. Yeah. This that, nice. that is a very nice snake. And you can see everything visual that the whole Super Pastel and everything. Yes. So as you can see, when we added a Pastel into the GHI Mojave, the dorsal line just broke off completely even my other male doesn't have the dorsal stripe but once we put another pastel into there the dorsal stripe is back there yeah. I think it's very nice this is actually one of my favorite things that I've had so far this season super pastel GHI Mojave yes wow they're good so we want the next one yes that's awesome I can't wait for this to shed actually. I think it will look better as it sheds. I think the whole matte finish will kick in later on. So this is another leopard clutch. So as usual we start with the lower end ones. That's a pastel. And that's a spider mojave. Let me just show you with your head stamps and stuff. 
So there's a pestle and a spider Mojave. It's got quite a strong dorsal stripe, that one. This one, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. The Mojave actually tend to do that also. So we move on to the rest of the clutch mate. So these four I want to show together. Leopards. Leopards. Feel like I'm dealing something wrong, so I'm putting it all on the table. <laughs> okay, so the first one. This oh. is a leopard pastel Mojave. That has a tree gene in it. This is unfortunately reserved already. The date hatched. And, it, and not by me. Not by him, yeah. <laughs> So this is a leopard Mojave spider. Nice head stamp on that. I like the striping yep. on the head. So this is another tree gene. So this is the spider version of that. And that was a pastel version. You know? It's an almost uh, coffee cream colour. Yeah. So we move on to the next one. So this is a bumblebee leopard. So this has the spider, pastel and the leopard. Yeah, lighter so it, coloured head. Yeah, so it's missing the Mojave in it. So these three are totally, you know, it's, it's complementing each other. So this has the Mojave, this has the, this has the Mojave and spider, this has the spider and pastel and this has the spider, ah, sorry, pastel and Mojave in it. Mm. And this one has all four in it. This one is basically a Mojave, pastel, Spider leopard, that's a four bang. This is very pretty, I think it grew up to be quite pretty. I, I love that coffee color on it, it's like coffee cream. There's the Mojave and Spider. Awesome. So, should we move on? Sure. Okay. The oh, yes, yes, stuff. the champagne stuff. I'll just take out all the non champagnes first. They are also in shed already, I'm sorry, but you know, we just decided to do it all together. So these are just the leopards and normals. There's three leopards and a normal in there. There's nothing special about them, but they're cool snakes. So let's move on to the clutch mates. So you see the thing about champagne, they always come out different from each other. So that's, that's one. That one doesn't have any ringer on it. And it's slightly darker, and this is the sibling, so it's lighter and it has a lot yeah, more nice ringers on there. Yeah, yeah the, it gives them almost a pipe look. And the best looking one is this one here. This one has more ringer than the other two. Oh, yeah, this has a lot of uh, things going on actually. Wow, and that's straight champagne. Yeah, that's straight champagne. And uh, the mother was uh, possible had leopard, possible have a pipe. So even the face has a bit of white blush. And yeah. This is a very cool snake. I really like this. So those are actually flat champagnes. And that is a leopard champagne. Ooh so as me and Rob were talking about, I think leopard can put pattern on any morph. That is just such a cool That's a looking lot home. of strong patterning though. So let's remove a couple of the champagnes. And you have two of those? Yeah, I have another another leopard champagne. And uh, as with the other two champagnes, see one is lighter and one is darker. This is the lighter one and slightly darker one. Because there's, there's a champagne being being different. I the love the patterning on those. She's trying to run away. Yeah. Two leopard champagnes. They are phenomenal. Wow. The head is orange and there's a lot of pattern going on. It's a lot of coloration as well. I just love that pattern. And they have strong dorsal stripes also. The leopard and champagne go well, really well together. Both yeah. really, really strong genes. Yeah. 
one just wipes everything out, the other one just enhances it. Puts it back it. again. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what you get when you do that. There's a champagne and a leopard champagne. I like the ring on this first. It's very clean white. So that's it. No more clutches. We'll just wait for some of them are actually in deep shed and uh, some just hatching. Oh, do you want to show the one that's hatching today? That's a superb snake to finish with. If you've got some that are just poking out the egg, why not? Let's have a look. Yep, let's just go for that. left yourself just enough room there. Yes. That's a huge egg box. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to show this again. Let me just do this. Okay. I, I want to just hold this up for the viewers so that you can yeah, see sure. the size of this egg box. <laughs> that is amazing. How many eggs in there? There is about... Let me see. It's about 14, 15 that, liters. That's, that's a 10 litre tub, that. that yeah. You could kick a ball python in that. Yeah. Okay. So, should we take them out one by one? Or if you want to shoot like that? Let's shoot like this and you can just... Okay, you so can. this is a Mystic Potion clutch. This is a Mystic Potion to Mojave. And this time, this clutch of uh, potions came really, really purple. See? They're very strong. They're not very light. Some we hatched very light. Some we hatched like this. These are very purple. There's quite a number actually. I think there's about three or four mystic yeah, potions in there. Purple. They're very purple. And then there's the Super Mojave. I don't know where to look. <laughs> They're all superb. So they're hatching up, so we will... How many eggs there? I kind of forgot, I have to see the other side. There must be 20 eggs in there. There's two clutches, right? Yeah, there's two clutches actually. Because, uh, you know, as you know, we had an issue with the incubator earlier this season. So we had to put in two clutches inside one box. But yeah, they're both hatching on the same day anyways. And uh, it's not a recessive project or anything, so... Things good. Awesome. We never do this, we try to avoid this, we don't like putting different different clutches together but at this time we were quite desperate at that point, we didn't have enough incubation space, we were building up the new incubator. Some haven't hatched, some are still in the egg, but these are very purple actually, these are very very purple. Very nice. These are usually very eye candy moths. People really like them because they are light, they have cool colours, they're almost pinkish to purplish kind of hue. Yep. Nice. Very nice. First day of life. Yep. Okay, so I think that's about it. We do have a lot more hatching. Oh right, yeah, let, let's just take a look at them, the other stuff. So this was another bumblebee calico clutch. This is mother is a spider, uh, father is a Pastel calico, so there is bumblebee calicos and uh, lesser pastel calico, similar to the earlier clutch we had. Cool. Yes, very nice. Yeah. So, fantastic. Done.